let's face it, we use a lot of water. And the more you use, the more you feel it in your wallet. The cost of the energy starts right here. The water heater. The average water heater runs about three hours a day. And depending on the size and style of heater, you can expect to spend several hundred dollars a year up to a thousand. Check out the Energy Guide label that shows you just how much it will cost to operate per year. If you have an electric water heater, it can be the second biggest user of electricity in your home. But there are many things you can do to lower the cost of heating your water with little to no investment. You can start here, right on the water heater itself. Most manufacturers set the temperature of water heaters to 140 degrees, but you can lower the temperature to about 120 degrees, and that's about as low as you want to go, because any lower, you can risk bacteria growth. Now, most thermostats don't have dials to indicate the actual temperature, so you've got to do a little experimentation. Hey, Pete, I'll need your help on this. All right, Megan, I'm going to take this thermometer and go to the furthest water faucet from the water heater. That's the best place to check the temperature of the hot water. While Pete's taking the water temperature, I can show you one other way to help lower your energy cost. Wrap your water heater tank with insulation. You can see what it looks like. It's shiny and clean on the outside, and there's the insulation on the inside. Now, most new tanks will already be insulated, but if you have an older tank, you might want to do this. It could save you up to $40 per year and pay for itself in the same amount of time. Check with your local utility company because they may offer one of these insulating blankets at little to no cost. Otherwise, you can buy one at a local hardware store for about $20. All you have to do is measure and cut the blanket to fit. Tape it in place and mark where any controls and valves might be, and make sure you cut them out so you have access. You always want to keep the top of the heater open so you don't block any of the vents. All right, so I'm going to get a read on the temperature of the hot water in one of the bathrooms the furthest from the hot water heater. Turn on the faucet, we'll get the water heated up. Once it is hot, I'll fill a bowl and insert the thermometer and wait for the reading. Once you have that, we can head back to the water heater. All right, Megan, the first reading was 138 degrees. Great. Now you can mark the dial on the water heater and you'll know exactly what the current temperature setting is. And then lower the dial a bit, wait a couple of hours, and then take the temperature again. Okay, Megan, the second time the temperature was 122 degrees. All right, now you should have a good idea of what the temperature is on your water heater. So mark that second temperature again, and then keep repeating the process until you've set it at the temperature you desire. But remember, don't go below 120 degrees. Overall, a blanket and adjusting your temperature can save you from $50 to $75 a year in water heating costs. But there's still more you can do to save money in water. It's cutting back on your water usage. The more hot water you use, the more energy your water heater has to use again to bring that cold water up to the right temperature. That's why you should use a low flow shower head. A lot of water is used every day when you take a shower. That's right. The average shower head uses about three to four gallons of water per minute, while a low flow shower head like this one uses only about two gallons. So you can save 10 to 20 gallons of water each time you take a 10 minute shower when you use a low flow shower. Head. That's saving a lot of water, a lot of energy as well. Another nifty little device is to install an adapter like this that cuts the flow of the water to a trickle when the water is hot. All you have to do is install it between the shower head and the pipe coming out of the wall. There you go. How many times do we wait around for the shower to get hot enough? And with this little device, you can turn your shower on. Once it gets to the, the level that you want, it will just allow a trickle to come through. And then all you have to do in this particular model is push a little button and it'll take it back to the normal flow. Yeah, and this one is, is very nifty. Uh, and some of you may have seen one that has a chain on it. We've showed that right. before. But this one, when I mean, you tighten it down, just the button that you push right there. Same concept. All right, I'm going to tighten this down a little bit more and then we could take a look at it. All right, so our water is heated up. It's at a trickle, let's see. And we're working. Great, that's a wonderful tool. And these are some simple things you can do, but what about the water heater itself? If you're in the market for a new one, we'll take you shopping after this. <laughs>